In differential geometry, Hilbert's theorem 1901 states that there exists no complete regular surface S display style S of constant negative Gaussian curvature K display style K immersed in R 3 display style math bound R caret 3 this theorem answers the question for the negative case of which surfaces in R 3 display style math bound R caret 3 can be obtained by isometrically immersing complete manifolds with constant curvature topic history Hilbert's theorem was first treated by David Hilbert in Über Flacken von Konstanter Krümmung Trans Ama Math Soc 2 1901 87 to 99 A different proof was given shortly after by E Holmgren Soler's surfaces are Corbier constante negative 1902 a far leading generalization was obtained by Nikolai Efimov in 1975. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Proof. The proof of Hilbert's theorem is elaborate and requires several lemmas. The idea is to show the non-existence of an isometric immersion. Phi equals Psi exp p s r three display style var phi equals psi circ exp underscore p s long right arrow math bound r caret three of a plane s display style s to the real space r Three display style math bound r caret three. This proof is basically the same as in Hilbert's paper, although based in the books of Ducamo and Spivak. Observations: In order to have a more manageable treatment, but without loss of generality, the curvature may be considered equal to minus one k equals minus one. Display style k equals minus one. There is no loss of generality since it is being dealt with constant curvatures and similarities of r three. Display style math bound r caret three. Multiply k. Display style k by a constant. The exponential map. Exp p t p s s display style exp underscore p t underscore p s long right arrow s is a local diffeomorphism, in fact a covering map by cartan hadamard theorem. Therefore, it induces an inner product in the tangent space of s. Display style s at p display style p t p s display style t underscore p s. Furthermore, s display style s denotes the geometric surface t p. S display style t underscore p s with this inner product. If psi s r three display style psi s long right arrow math bound r caret three is an isometric immersion, the same holds for phi equals Psi exp 
O S R three Display style var phi equals psi circ exp underscore O S long right arrow math bound R carrot three the first lemma is independent from the other ones, and will be used at the end as the counter statement to reject the results from the other lemmas. Lemma 1, the area of S is infinite. Proof sketch The idea of the proof is to create a global isometry between H and S display style S then since H display style H has an infinite area S display style S will have it too the fact that the hyperbolic plane H display style H has an infinite area comes by computing the surface integral with the corresponding coefficients of the first fundamental form. To obtain these ones, the hyperbolic plane can be defined as the plane with the following inner product around a point q element of r 2 display style q in math bound r caret 2 with coordinates U V display style U V E equals U U equals one F equals U V equals V U equals zero G equals V V equals E U Display style E equals left Langle frac partial partial U frac partial partial U right wrangle equals one Q quad F equals left Langle frac partial partial U frac partial partial V right wrangle equals left Langle frac partial partial V frac partial partial U right wrangle equals zero Q quad G equals left Langle frac partial partial V frac partial partial V right Wrangle equals e caret u. Since the hyperbolic plane is unbounded, the limits of the integral are infinite, and the area can be calculated through minus infinity infinity minus infinity infinity e u d u D V equals infinity display style int underscore inf t carrot inf t int underscore inf t carrot inf t e carrot u d u d v equals inf t. Next, it is needed to create a map which will show that the global information from the hyperbolic plane can be transferred to the surface S. Display style s, i.e. a global isometry. Phi h s. Display style var phi h right arrow s will be the map whose domain is the hyperbolic plane and image the two-dimensional manifold s. Display style s, which carries the inner product from the surface. S display style S with negative curvature phi display style var phi will be defined via the exponential map, its inverse, and a linear isometry between their tangent spaces psi t p h t p s 
display style psi t underscore p h right arrow t underscore p s that is phi equals exp p psi exp p minus one Display style var phi equals exp underscore p circ psi circ exp underscore p carrot minus one, where p element of h p element of s display style p in h p in s. That is to say, the starting point. P element of H display style P in H goes to the tangent plane from H display style H through the inverse of the exponential map then travels from one tangent plane to the other through the isometry psi display style psi and then down to the surface s display style s with another exponential map the following step involves the use of polar coordinates rho theta display style rho theta and rho theta display style rho theta around p display style p and p display style p respectively the requirement will be that the axis are mapped to each other that is theta equals 0 display style theta equals 0 goes to theta equals 0 display style theta equals 0 then phi display style var phi preserves the first fundamental form in a geodesic polar system the gaussian curvature k display style k can be expressed as k equals minus g rho rho g display style k equals frac sqrt g underscore rho rho sqrt g in addition k is constant and fulfills the following differential equation g rho rho plus k g equals 0 display style sqrt g underscore rho rho plus k c d o t sqrt g equals 0 since h display style h and s display style s have the same constant Gaussian curvature, then they are locally isometric mindings theorem. That means that phi display style var phi is a local isometry between h display style h and s display style s. Furthermore, from the Hadamard's theorem, it follows that phi display style var phi is also a covering map since s display style s is simply connected phi display style var phi is a homeomorphism and hence a global isometry therefore h display style h and s 
display style s are globally isometric and because h display style h has an infinite area then s equals t p s display style s equals t underscore p s has an infinite area as well white medium square display style square lemma 2 for each p element of s display style p in s exists a parametrization x u r 2 s p element of x u display style x u subset mathbound r caret 2 long right arrow s q quad p in x u such that the coordinate curves of x display style x are asymptotic curves of x u equals v display style x u equals v and form a Chebyshev net lemma 3 let v s display style v subset s be a coordinate neighborhood of s display style s such that the coordinate curves are asymptotic curves in v display style v then the area a of any quadrilateral formed by the coordinate curves is smaller than 2 pi display style 2 pi the next goal is to show that x display style x is a parametrization of s display style s lemma 4 for a fixed t display style t the curve x s t minus infinity s plus infinity display style x s t inf t is an asymptotic curve with s display style s as arc length the following two lemmas together with lemma 8 will demonstrate the existence of a parametrization x r 2 s display style x math bound r caret 2 long right arrow s lemma 5 x display style x is a local diffeomorphism Lemma six X Display style X is surjective. Lemma seven on S Display style S There are two differentiable linearly independent vector fields which are tangent to the asymptotic curves of S Display style S Lemma eight X display style x is injective proof of hilbert's theorem first it will be assumed that an isometric immersion from a complete surface with negative curvature s display style s exists psi s r 3 Display style psi s long right arrow math bound r caret three. As stated in the observations, the tangent plane T P S display style T underscore P S is endowed with the metric induced by the exponential map exp P T P S S display style exp underscore p t underscore p s long right arrow s. Moreover, phi equals psi exp p s r three display style var phi equals psi circ exp underscore p s long right arrow math bound r caret 3 
is an isometric immersion and lemmas 5, 6, and 8 show the existence of a parametrization x r 2 s display style x math bound r caret 2 long right arrow s of the whole s display style s such that the coordinate curves of x display style x are the asymptotic curves of s display style s this result was provided by lemma 4 therefore s display style s can be covered by a union of coordinate quadrilaterals q n display style q underscore n with q n q n plus 1 display style q underscore n subset q underscore n plus 1 by lemma 3 the area of each quadrilateral is smaller than 2 pi display style 2 pi on the other hand by lemma 1 the area of s display style s is infinite therefore has no bounds this is a contradiction and the proof is concluded white medium square display style square topic see also Nash embedding theorem – states that every Riemannian manifold can be isometrically embedded into some Euclidean space. <laughs>